damn. Already found playoff 13s. Everything is 30% off, so. Damn, they got these, bro. People are sleeping. Full size run, or majority of size run. Bruh, size 16. Welcome back, y'all. So today we're in Chicago, and last time I was here, I went to only one Nike outlet, and they had a lot of heat. So I told myself, when I come back to Chicago, I gotta do one of my Nike outlet videos where I try to go to every single Nike outlet within that area. So I got a couple hours. I don't think I'm gonna hit them all up in one day. I think I'm gonna hit them up within today and tomorrow, because it's Thursday. I'm here till Sunday. So I have a few days to do this, all right? I'm not gonna be doing it in 24 hours. But yeah, we're in Chicago for Got Soul. So while we're out here, let's hit up every single Nike outlet and try to buy at least, at least one shoe. Oh yeah, and we got the red boots as well, but yeah, you've probably seen the other video I made about those out here. Let's go ahead and get things started because I think I'm gonna try to knock out at least two of the Nike outlets today. And I'm probably gonna be moving pretty slow because it is freezing out here. Thank God for the Canada goose. Let's go see what Chicago has to offer at the outlets. <laughs> You got anything good? These are fire. Damn. Already found playoff 13s. Everything is 30% off, so that's a good sign. Got these twos right here. It's not bad. This could be a potential pickup. LeBron's right here. If this was a size 10, I would've took it. Damn, they got these, bro. People are sleeping. Full size run or majority of size run. Up until nine and a half, I might grab one of those if it's 30% off. I don't know about these. I remember these in high school. These look like a holiday release. These are not bad for a mid, but let me see what else we can find. Bruh, size 16. These things are boats, look at this. Crazy. Yo, I'm not into pennies like that, but this is a sick colorway. Does anybody know what this is? Is this like a collab or something? All right, first spot, in my opinion, was a success. So I met somebody that works there. He watches my video, or he said he used to watch my videos. He doesn't watch it anymore. <laughs> but yeah, he told me that they literally got reimagined threes yesterday somebody returned them and i'm like what how are people re returning the reimagined threes like is early like there's recent i don't know i don't know why somebody returned them i don't know what size it was specifically but the fact that somebody's returning an early access pair from sneakers pretty crazy to me but then he also did show me these and i had to buy them somebody returned them and i bought them and i'm adding them to the baby collection for when the day comes where me and me to have a kid but check these out we got the jordan 3 reimagine infant shoes bro these are look at these things they are so cute look at the nike air on the back the age midsole the elephant print it was retail it was retail and there was no 30 percent off on these but yo these are just so sick like even if like i just put them on display in my room this is a personal keep i'm not going to be selling this on a whatnot oh and also speaking of whatnot i want to let you guys know that my next whatnot which is going to be at the end of the month i'm doing a whatnot and every single item i sell on the whatnot i'm donating the money to charity so i'm not going to be profiting any money on that whatnot so i'll leave the link down below i'll talk more about it later in the video and probably all the stuff i get in this video aside from personal pickups will be sold on that whatnot and i'll just donate all the money to charity i'm also going to be giving away an orange lobster on that whatnot so not only can you buy shoes the money goes to charity but you also can enter to win a free pair of lobsters on that whatnot so it's going to be a really dope show it's still early i think I can hit up one more Nike outlet for today. Let's keep shopping and keep seeing what we pick up out here in Chicago. got to be the steal of the day bro $200 our price 199.99 
Big W. So I woke up today and uh, it snowed in Chicago. You see all the trees have a little bit of snow. All the cars literally have snow. Yes, I still get excited for snow because we do not have snow in California. Well, actually now we kind of do have snow in California. So never mind. I take that back. Anyway, yesterday we hit up two Nikes and I think we got some solid pickups. These. Oh, I also popped into a finish line and they had these. I guess these just came out, so I decided to pick them up. I really don't even think they have resale value, but why not? It's just a bl blue and white, all denim. These aren't bad. I mean, I'm not really a dunk guy, as you guys know, but they had them at the counter. There was only one size left and I just grabbed them. So I'll probably drop these on the charity whatnot that I got going on. Um, and then from Nike, we got the... I didn't realize how messed up the box was, but... I probably won't even take the box home for these. The Wolf Gray Golf Shoes. These are very similar, or they kind of look like a budget-friendly version of the Dior Lowe's. So I think this is a great shoe that people could wear casually. Like, I know two or three of my friends, like Harris, Waji, and I think Ahmed, they all have these and they wear them casually because it's just a wearable shoe. I wish this swoosh was white. I think that would have made it look a little bit better, but... Imagine if somebody does a custom on this and they take the swoosh and replace it with the Dior print. That would definitely be a good alternative to not having the Dior Lowe's. But yeah, we got these for $109, size eight and a half. Oh, it also comes with extra laces. So yeah, one thing you got to make sure though, when you buy these shoes from Nike outlets, always check the condition because sometimes people try them on. I did pick up a pair of these and they had a huge dirt mark on the back. I could probably clean them, but there was another pair there. So I put those back um, and I grabbed the clean pair. But yeah, just keep in mind because I've made that mistake where I got trigger happy and I bought a pair of shoes and then I took them home and they were like worn. Maybe they ran up and down the, the aisles. I don't know, but just be careful when you're buying shoes at an outlet because you never know who's either tried them on. Second item we got is the Infant White Cement 3s. Now, I was really surprised somebody returned these. These things are hella cute, man. Like, currently wearing my... Whites and men's too. These come out tomorrow, the men's pair or the shoe in general. So hopefully I can grab some pairs out here as well. All right, so yeah, those are my two pickups. I'm gonna try to hit up at least two more outlets today. I'm not gonna lie, it is kind of hard. There's a lot of Nike stores out here in Chicago. So we'll see, man. Hopefully we can find some good stuff today and uh, continue this Nike shopping video. <laughs> This has got to be the worst Nike outlet I've ever been to. Like half the store is empty. What the hell? Either this store is going out of business or they just do not send this store any inventory. I mean, they have some solid basic stuff, but nothing crazy. Some free runs. Like, I don't even know what to show y'all. Like, when am I going to show you these basketball shoes? Like, I don't know. Bro, look at this. The whole store is empty. What the hell? Alright y'all, <laughs> holy cow bro, that was the worst Nike outlet I've ever been to. Look, I've been to Nike outlets where they just don't have good inventory, but this one, they didn't have any inventory. Half the store was empty, man, and I literally took an Uber 35 minutes to get here. It cost me about 40 bucks just to take an L, bro. So we're down bad now. We lost 40 bucks on the Uber come in here and there was like 50 employees working with like only like 30 shoes in the whole store man so i do not recommend ever coming to this nike outlet um but hey that's part of the process with this series is you just gotta take chances and go and see what each store has i don't know if this one's shutting down or going out of business but yeah it did not look like it just didn't look like a normal Nike store. Now the issue is that every single outlet now is like 45 minutes away because I came so far out to the suburbs. I might just have to hit up the same outlets because the two that I went to yesterday were solid. So maybe they might have some more stuff if I go back. But yeah, I'm gonna grab some food and then keep it going, man. This is, this is a crap out.
All right, so I decided to come to downtown Chicago because the Nike outlets on the outskirts just were not cutting it. I even went back to one of the ones that I went to yesterday, but they didn't have anything new. So maybe the Nike retail store will have something. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to see what else we can get out here. But I'm gonna hit up the Nike store out here. I'll probably hit up a few of the other retail stores in the downtown area because they have like obviously Champs, Foot Locker, JD Sports, all that stuff. And uh, see what some of the other stores have other than outlets. So. Yeah, this became a Nike outlet video to a going to every sneaker store in Chicago video, so. All right, so right when I walked in, some kid came up to me and he's like, yo, they got these dunks. They go for like $200, go to the fourth floor. And I was like, all right. So I went up there, checked it out, and they did have the dunks. So I grabbed the pair and I don't even know what they are. This store is pretty sick. I like the Nike uh, OG store because it's just, I mean, it's retail, but they have some dope stuff. They get a lot of inventory, so. I remember back like maybe five, six years ago, we were out here for one of the sneaker cons and we just had all the boys together from all different places of the world, all together in Chicago. And we literally walked like a 30 minute walk and it was just like one of the funnest days, man. I really don't keep in contact with a lot of those guys anymore. So it sucks to, you know, I'm not trying to bring no negative energy or anything like that. I've just kind of grown apart from a lot of those people. But yeah, it's just, you, you have these good memories that you keep in your mind. And when you come back, you get to revisit them. And uh, we had good times together during those days. But walking on the bridge right now, I think this is where they usually do like the duck thing where they tip over all the ducks and put it in the water. And they also like dye it green on St. Patrick's Day. So a lot of traditions here, man. So I've always wanted to go to the Nutella Cafe here in Chicago but I never have until today. And honestly, I was in heaven. I love Nutella. So the fact that there's a dedicated restaurant, I was geeking in there, but I didn't buy anything because I'm not even hungry. I already had breakfast, but I had to buy something to take home. So these right here, if you come to the store, you can actually get custom made Nutella. Look at this one. This one says my name on it. I wish, I wish it was a capital Q, but it still looks cool. And then I also got one for Mina, even though she's not in love with Nutella like I am, but a little gift for her since she's not here. Cool little Nutella tell a souvenir another pickup here in Chicago and we got to go to the bean to meet up with Bo because Bo's in the city as well for God's soul so let's go find him he's my homie I told you happened there buddy listen man hooped a little too hard oh, wow. Kais broke my ankles <laughs> and <laughs> breaking news this is what happens I but, jump in and I just like kick really right? fast when I play ball yeah, yeah, right. I think we should have a rematch today <laughs> oh no the, the, dream, the dream crew the dream, dream crew. crew hey drop that link for Mo my boy Mo yeah. Vision go follow my boy he's got some crazy crazy hits on the way bro go follow him on Spotify for real but yeah went a little too hard on the Achilles and Got surgery coming up, but we're gonna be back. Don't you worry. Oh, relax. What are those? The Stussy. No way they have those. Thirteen. Stussy. Stussy. Damn. What? Damn. Cash it out. Let's go, oh, baby. Give me a little little flashback wow, here. Twenty fifteen. Yeah, I made a lot of YouTube money off. Those. Yes, sir. That was, that, was the, that was the pre pirate, dude. Yeah. Oh, damn. I didn't even realize you busted those out. Yo, JD oh, Sports good. had some dope stuff. Foot Locker, pretty dry. Shout out to JD Sports though, because they let us full on film. We got like 10 cameras here, and JD Sports let us film a whole damn TV show in there. I felt like I was at a barbecue when I was at JD Sports. When I walked into Foot Locker, I felt like I was at my aunt's house that I haven't been to in a long time. Like, get out! Leave! <laughs> Chicago all of a sudden found! All of a sudden! For the wind kit! Yes, sir, bro. I've been waiting for that all that day. Was, I've been waiting for that all day, too. All right, guys, we're in round two now, Chicago. Happy to be here because, unfortunately, all the other round two locations have closed down. These right here, the Carmine Jordan ones. These are the J. Cole Forest Hill Drives. Who remembers these, man? This right here, Michigan 12. This was the first, like, Jordan retro that they actually released to the public that was like a college PE. This is my size. They only have it for $200, man. Been on my 12 hype. Hopefully they release the cherries this year. I know the rumors are the rumors, but until I see official images, I'm, I'm not believing it. And who remembers these two? The freaking infrared sixes or whatever. What were these? Yeah, infrared 23. Good vibes at round two. It didn't cop anything, but uh, yeah, it was still dope to pop in there. We gotta go to Supreme now, where they are not gonna let us film, but you know, maybe we can get something. 
Feels like 2016 again. Finally made it. Finally made it in Chi Town, Chicago. What do you think about the sneaker culture out here, huh? It's pretty lit. It's actually, yeah. it's pretty nice. It's, I mean, it must be nice. You know, Michael Jordan did play here. How many sneaker shows you got this weekend? Four? Or well, three? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I got like. I got one next week as well. Uh, I got two next week. I got homie coming out to Nebraska, right? This is how it went down. I'm like, hey, man, can I get you to come down to Nebraska? He's like, yeah, so all I got to do is I'm going to be in Chicago, so I'll go to Chicago. I'll be there for one day. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go to fly out in Lincoln. Then I have to come back. Then I got to be in Seattle. I'll go to Seattle. Yeah, right. It's like, what are you talking about? Do you hey, want to come? He's like, oh, my God. airline miles are crazy. Yeah, I know. So he's like, I'll hey, book the I'm ticket a, myself. I'm a spirit gold member. <laughs> so like, first Yo, class. That does not exist. That first class. Boom. <laughs> back in the room only one pickup today and honestly i kind of regret buying these because i literally had to hold the bag all day and i looked up prices on these and they're not even going for that much so the kid that got me hyped on these when i walked into the store i guess it's not your fault i should have done my research before i bought them but yeah these dunks really don't go for that much so but yo they got some good stuff out here in chicago i'm not gonna lie and oh i also hit on a shoe that drops tomorrow which is the white cement threes so i get to pick those up tomorrow as well probably after got sold because i'm gonna be pretty busy during the day there so guys i'm extremely exhausted right now just left got sold a few hours ago basically got two videos out of chicago so if you guys want to see like the actual got soul vlog go watch the red boot video wearing the red boots for 24 hours that's going to be its own thing uh, but as far as like this outlet slash chicago shopping video so we got these right here these dunks i don't even know what these are called but and then i picked up the denim dunks right here i'll drop both of these on my whatnot so basically i told you guys about the whatnot earlier and it's a charity whatnot so i'm going to be dropping these for one dollar auctions and whatever they sell for i'm going to donate that money to charity so hopefully they sell for more than i paid because yeah that would be an l i don't know it's a, it's a fun thing to do hopefully i can get you guys to come join and watch a show and, and help give back uh to charity and I'll decide which charity I'm gonna be actually donating to very soon, but I know it's gonna be donated to 100% of the whatnot is gonna be donated to charity. So uh, that is going to be at the end of the month. I'll leave the link down below, sign up and bookmark the show. If you guys could do me a huge favor and bookmark the show, that's gonna let me know how many people I can expect to actually be on the live. We have about 500 bookmarks right now. Hopefully we can get to about like 800 to 1,000, depending on if you guys actually go bookmark the show. But yeah, go bookmark bookmark the show a lot and uh i do want to say guys thank you chicago for so much love like the the um i don't i don't like calling people who watch my videos fans because i don't feel like i'm like a celebrity or whatever like obviously i'm kind of known within sneaker community and social media and stuff like that so so i don't like calling you know people who watch my video fans uh but chicago has a huge fan base if that makes sense like the fan base i have out here insane like y'all show me so much love so a big thank you guys man i greatly ap appreciate the chicago crew um throughout the years we've done events out here and it's always been a success and i'll be honest with you guys like i did not expect to get that much love today i got sold to the point where like i couldn't even like walk around and shop like i just kept getting stopped and stopped and stopped for photos people showing me their old photos of when they first met me like six years ago and they they were like this tall now they're like grown ass dudes in college so uh it's great to meet these people who have been rocking with me for years and uh, even if you don't like watch the videos anymore but you did at a time like it doesn't matter to me if you watch still or not as long as you watch me at one point like you've done something for my career you've helped me get to where i am today so i never you know get upset when somebody says hey i used to watch you because obviously people have reasons why they stop watching youtubers and stuff like that there's youtubers i watch who I just don't watch as much as I used to watch. Like, it just, it is what it is. But I'm grateful for anybody who took the time out of their life to watch one of my videos, all of my videos, a few of my videos, whatever it may be. So thank you, Chicago. You guys are amazing. And I definitely will be back to do some more events out here. So, oh, this weekend, I will be in Dallas for Sneaker Travelers. I completely forgot about that. So Dallas, you're next up on my stop of events, Sneaker Travelers. I'll leave the link down below if you guys wanna grab yourself some tickets. But yeah, Sneaker Travelers is gonna be a crazy event because Dallas always shows love too. So I'm excited about that. So Dallas, Sneaker Travelers, I'll see you this weekend. Chicago, thank you all for the, all the love. And if you're just watching this from home, appreciate you tuning in and watching to this very last second while I'm still talking. <laughs>